Uh, Robert Streibel and I will present you uh, now the probably biggest case of Aryanization in Austria's wine business during the period of Nazism between 1938 to 1945. Uh, in the center is the Winzer Genossenschaft Krems, today the best known and biggest wine producer and wine seller of Austria. I got knowledge of this case uh, by a legacy. Beside other things, it contained more than 1,000 letters and documents referring to the Aryanization of the property of the Jewish wine farmer Paul Josef Robicek and his mother Johanna. The result of our research work in the Austrian State Archive, the City Archive of Vienna and several other archives caused Robert and me to write and publish our documentary novel, The Wine of Oblivion. In 2018, it caused big reactions in Austrian TV and other media. At first, the Winzer Krems refused to deal with the Nazi founding story of their company in summer of 1938. But soon, they started to change their minds. And now, one year later, Winzer Krems had admitted to their national, national socialist past and had a plaque set up at the winery for Paul Josef Robicek and his mother Johanna. He found exile in Venezuela and she was murdered in the concentration camp Theresienstadt. From now on, as the Winzer Krems confirmed, this plaque shall be the first station at every guided tour through the vineyard. So somehow it came, so to say, to an acceptable end. One year after the publication of our historic novel. Now my dear friend Robert uh, will give you an impression of the case in a short PowerPoint presentation. Okay, uh, uh, since uh, till 2018, the street to Sandgrube in Krems was a blind alley. Uh, the times uh, had uh, changed since our book had been published. Uh, the way to Sandgrube is still today a blind alley, uh, but not now only for cars, not for historians. What uh, we did, uh, we looked close uh, to the details. That's the place, uh, it's Krems, it's 70 kilometers from uh, Vienna uh, uh, on the Danube and there you see uh, Sandgrube 13. What we did, we looked uh, very close to the details. I give you an example. Uh, we got this photo celebrating the end of uh, grape harvest, uh, um, uh, uh, a nice photo. It looks bucolic, uh, but you have to beware of to the details. If you look, uh, uh, oh sorry, uh, if you look there, you will see uh, uh, there's a Hakenkreuz in the right uh, side, uh, uh, and uh, that's the, 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 the street, uh, the place was called Adolf Hitler, and uh, under, uh, there you see NSDAP. You had to look close if you want to know what happened to the history. Celebrating the end of the harvest, in the series of uh, photos you find also these people didn't only drinking wine, they also greeted Adolf Hitler, hearing him on the radio. Uh, but you have to have a, a close look. And then you see that uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, men in the picture uh, wearing the Hackenkreuz uh, on his uh, suite. The wine yard called Sandgrube was one of the uh, most important uh, wine yards uh, in, uh, uh, in Krems and it belonged to Paul uh, Josef Robicek and his mother uh, Joanna. Uh, 
uh, you may ask why we uh, wrote a historic novel because of him, August Riga, because he was not only the companion of Paul uh, uh, Josef Robicek, but also the lover of Paul. And to be Jew and to be homosexual, I think that's really uh, too much uh, for the Nazi times. Uh, in our material, we got uh, a lot of uh, historical documents uh, uh, and uh, about the Aryanization. And we also got the diary of Paul Josef Robicek. He wrote this diary in France when he was imprisoned because the French police thought he's a German spy. He was flying uh, to Italy and then to France and then he had been imprisoned uh, for several months in, in, in France and uh, later on he escaped to uh, Venezuela. Uh, in, the, in our documents there are also uh, uh, something like this uh, because they were uh, f fighting for their property uh, after 1945 uh, and, uh, and, one, and we had, uh, uh, we had the, the opportunity to get the material of one of the master uh, mind of the organization, uh, Matthias Falli and he wrote in the 1950s uh, uh, how he uh, thought that it would have been in the, during the 1938. And in this uh, uh, document he wrote in the 50s, uh, he didn't understand why the uh, uh, Winzer Genossenschaft had to pay anything uh, after the end of the war for, 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 for that, what they um, uh, robbed uh, from uh, Paul Josef Robicek. When our book was published, okay, uh, uh, after one month, uh, uh, the Winzer Genossenschaft said, okay, let's deal with the historic uh, uh, subject, and they invited uh, Anita Robicek. She's the niece of uh, Paul Rod Robicek, and uh, we also uh, made a wine. Uh, the wine of oblivion. You can read the book, but you can also drink the wine uh, of oblivion. And uh, after one year, uh, now uh, there's a historic commission about the history, uh, and uh, and this is nearly finished. And there's the plaque uh, they uh, uh, made in the in, in their wine yard uh, uh, just only a few days ago. And I think that's a good, uh, uh, nearly a happy end uh, uh, to the to the historical. Uh, situation and the biggest uh, wine company uh, in Krems uh, belonged to a Jew and uh, till 2018 it was not uh, spoken about uh, this topic now everybody knows it thank you very much